welcome to How to Play Law and Order Blues Guitar Licks. The guitar is tuned to standard, which is E, A, D, G, B, E. For our first lick, we're going to do one that sounds something like this. That's going to get us into the song. Now what I'm doing is I'm pulling on the D and the G string like that, just like that, pinching those strings. And I'm going open, three hits there, second fret once, third fret once, and then we go back again to open, three, one on the second fret, one on the third fret, and then back to fret two. So this is what we've got. And that's lick number one. For lick number two, we're just going to go to the D string and play the D string like this. From the third fret to the fifth fret and hammering on the fifth fret. Now we're going to play five notes in all at the third fret. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one, we're going to hammer like that. And we're pulling it, pinching the string like this, like that, a pinch. So it's so. And that's lick number two. Lick number three goes something like this. Now what we did was started here with the ring finger on the G string at the fifth fret. And we're going to take the string up first, bend it up, and then come down like this. Strike it and then release the pressure. Like that. So you've got to have the string up and go and then we're going to strike that string three times like that so we've got this then we're going to go to the third fret then back to the fifth fret back to the third fret fifth fret so that was five, three, back to five on the D string. So we've got this. Once more. Here's lick number four. Now lick number four is not actually played by a guitar. It's a clarinet, believe it or not. I thought it might be interesting to learn how to play it on the guitar. So, all right, the first half of that lick is We're going to take it goes something like this. play the first half of that lick by playing the B string, the G string, and the D string in that order and holding down the 10th fret. And then we're going to go to the 8th fret on the B string, back to the 10th fret, and play the D string and the G string. 
back to the B string on the 8th fret and then sweep the B, G, and D string again. And then land on the 8th fret on the B string. Like that. So we've got this. Then to the G string at the 8th fret and finish up on the D string at the 10th fret. It's like that. So here we go. Alright, that's the first half. Now, we'll move to the second half. And it goes like this. Okay, so we're going down here to the G string at the 8th fret, back to the 10th fret on the D string, and then to the G string at the 8th fret, and then to the D string at the 8th fret. And then take your ring finger, place it on the D string at the 10th fret, and strike the string and slide up. Just like that. So you're doing this. And then you're going to go to the G string at the 10th fret, back to the 12th fret D string, like that. So it's We're going to repeat that and then we're going to wind up at the ninth fret on the G string and that's our lead-in note to the next part of the song okay all right here's lick number five we are here at the fifth fret and the seventh fret and we're going to be playing in A minor this is where the song modulates to A minor starting at the D string seventh fret D string fifth fret A string seventh fret fifth fret D string A string seventh fret D string 5th fret, back to the A string 7th fret, G string 5th fret, 7th fret D string, and we end up there. So here it goes. For lick number six, we'll be working between the fifth and ninth frets. And it's going to go something like this. And that's our lick right there. We're going to slide up to the eighth and ninth fret with the first and second finger, like this. Like that. striking them this way just like that okay so you're going then you come down to the seventh fret on the G string to the fifth fret so here we go seventh fifth seventh fret G string 5th fret, G string, D string, 7th fret, back to the G string, 5th fret, and to the D string, 7th fret,
and then to the high E string and then you're going to bend the G string at the 5th fret and then you're going to land on the D string 7th fret so this is what we have 